I commend the initiative of this council to hold another special session on the situation of human rights in Syria. The gravity of ongoing violations and the brutal attacks against peaceful protesters in that country demand your continued attention. OHCHR fact-finding mission found a pattern of widespread or systematic human rights violations by Syrian security and military forces, including murder, enforced disappearances, torture, deprivation of liberty, and persecution. Although the report covered the period of 15th March to 15th July, there are indications that the pattern of violations continues to this day. It is our assessment that the scale and nature of these acts may amount to crimes against humanity. The mission concluded that while demonstrations have been largely peaceful, the military and security forces have resorted to an apparent shoot-to-kill policy. Snipers on rooftops have targeted protesters, bystanders who were trying to help the wounded, and ambulances. The mission also documented incidents of summary execution outside the context of the demonstrations and during house-to-house -house searches and in hospitals. Victims and witnesses reported widespread attempts to cover up killings by the security forces, including through the use of mass graves. Security forces have pursued a policy of arbitrary arrest and detention of individuals suspected of having taken part in demonstrations. Torture and ill-treatment were found to have been widespread. Former detainees cited cases of death in custody, including that of children, as a result of torture. I wish to use this opportunity to once again call on the Syrian government to immediately and fully halt its crackdown on peaceful protests and ensure the immediate and unconditional release of all detained for their participation in peaceful demonstrations. At the same time, the Syrian authorities should allow full human rights access to Syria, including for impartial and thorough human rights investigation and monitoring. Over 2,200 people have been killed since mass protests began in mid-March, with more than 350 people reportedly killed across Syria since the beginning of Ramadan. I regret to note that at least five people were killed around the country on Thursday and 34 more on Friday by Syrian military and security forces. Let me conclude by emphasizing the importance of holding perpetrators of crimes against humanity accountable. The fact-finding mission has found that such crimes may have been committed in Syria. I urge the Security Council to consider referring the situation in Syria to the International Criminal Court. The people of Syria must be supported in their struggle for fundamental rights and freedoms